When we think of language, we tend to automatically associate it with speech. For most people, talking in your native language is part of everyday life. But what if instead, we used these? Sign language consists of facial expressions, gestures and hand movements. In Australia, we use a variety called Auslan, and there are around 6,000 recognised users. For members of the deaf community like Ida Rogers, Auslan is their way of communicating with the world. Ida now works as a head teacher at the Deaf Society of New South Wales and believes that despite not using speech, sign language is a true language. In fact, many people who have learned Auslan have discovered that it is still a complete language, even without speech. I think everyone should learn it. It's just an amazing language, like any other language. It's, um, it's interesting, it's got its own grammar, vocab, and it's a very, very expressive language. Plus, it means you can communicate with deaf people as well. Anne Naylor first became involved with Auslan for an entirely different reason. Her son was born with Down syndrome, and Ant understands just how useful sign language can be for children with disabilities. That's when he was about four or five and he wasn't speaking, and so it was suggested that um, we teach him some basic signs to help him communicate with us, which we did. It was really good. So if he wanted more, instead of throwing a tantrum, he would sign more. Um, if he wanted a biscuit, he would sign biscuit so that we would know what he wanted, so it was really good. It is this simple means of communication that make people such advocates for Auslan. Rachel McQuillan also works at the Deaf Society and believes that the language has given her every opportunity, including attending university. However, unfortunately there is a concern that not enough members of the deaf community are receiving this access and education. Therefore, the aspirations of the deaf community remain simple and achievable. Because in today's modern age, it's important for everyone to be heard and seen. Chris Jansen, tip of the tongue.